in the past there have been a lot of really devastating environmental accidents and incidents that have happened. Things from Chernobyl to Deepwater Horizon or more recently Fukushima. Um, I'm a PhD student here at the Open University and I'm working with a couple of different oil and gas companies to look at how they learn from these accidents so that they can prevent it in the future. They've got a lot of money and investments going into um, doing this at all the oil companies and all the gas companies because they really do want to prevent these kind of accidents. And what I'm looking at is what do they do well and how can we help them to get over some barriers to learning in this kind of situation that's going to help take it to the next level. For me as well, there's also a slightly personal angle. I was actually in Japan during the time of Fukushima um, as an English teacher and the consequences it had within society were devastating, but also seeing the way that the world reacted to that as well. If we can do anything to try and prevent these kind of accidents and incidents happening, uh, it's definitely worth pursuing. I think it's a, a really good thing to investigate. A lot of academia um, is very up here in your head and this particular topic is very grounded in reality. You get to talk a lot to people who are actually working in this field, hear their input and view it from a very different perspective to what you read in your papers. You have some really interesting problems and unlike in traditional science you can't just set up a very controlled experiment to see what is going to be the result. You have to really think hard about how you're going to investigate problems that are very social in nature. Uh, so that was what I was interested in at the beginning of it. As it's gone through, and especially after conducting interviews, I remember one interview where I asked um, the research question of, you know, uh, how did that accident, um, or hearing about that accident, uh, change your work? And the response was, I think it's changed my life. And getting a response like that, it really hammers home how important an area this is uh, to try and prevent accidents. It really changes the lives of individuals. So I'm working with the Energy Institute, who's uh, the main sponsor of my PhD, to take some of our findings and try and put it into like a really tangible workshop that companies are going to be able to use in practice to really start thinking about some of the ideas that I've uncovered. So I'd love to expand this to maybe the aviation sector and see what they're doing there and make comparisons across groups, just to really try and learn from each other as much as we can. The University has given me a lot of support over the um, couple of years I've been here. Uh, predominantly, I've had two uh, supervisors who have really helped me out a lot, providing feedback. Uh, when I first started at the university, actually, it was on a semi-distance basis. I lived in Finland half the time and was here half the time. My supervisor actually let me stay at her house for about a month. So I don't think you can really ask for more than that. Uh, but the university in general has been very good. There's been a lot of trainings and um, whenever I've needed something, I've always found that there's an avenue, if you look for it, to actually get that support that you need.